Welcome to number five in our Tutorial Tuesday series, and this week we've got a slightly unusual one, using your Android phone to listen to FM radio. Now, with all the music services online and through satellite out there now, FM radio might not seem as popular as it once was, but figures from Nielsen and Pew in 2019 show that 92% of us still listen to FM radio over the airwaves, over smartphone use at 81%. With that in mind, let's try this out. Now, one thing to understand, many phones are capable of FM radio playback, but not all of them. Though if you're using a new mobile phone, it'll definitely have it. First, as always, head into your app drawer. In almost every case, if the app is built in, you'll find it under FM radio in the app drawer. So go ahead and tap on it. First of all, you'll probably see a message alerting you to plug in your headphones. This is because the phone and FM app need wires from your headphones as an antenna to pick up the radio signals. So go ahead and pop some in. You don't even have to use the headphones for listening if you don't want to. Now, this app may have a different look and feel across different brands, but they'll all work in most of the same way. Now, once you're plugged in, the interface will come up and most prominently, we see the frequency the app is tuned into right now. And below that, controls which look similar to those on a real radio. On the outside edges, there are seek buttons, and on the inside, there are tune buttons used for tuning the radio with fine adjustment. The button in the middle is a star, which is used for saving favorite stations. When you push this, the frequency you've saved moves below into a favorites list. These start off with names according to the frequency you've saved, but you can actually rename them just through the menu in each saved station. You can also remove the stations through this menu as well. The other prominent aspect of this app is the large button in the lower right, which simply toggles the radio on and off. Looking upwards, we have some less obvious features. The first one is just a list view of the stations you've saved. Nothing too wild. The second option is more interesting. It allows you to switch between your headphones and your phone's speaker for the FM audio. This is helpful if you don't feel like wearing any headphones. The third option is interesting. It lets you save recordings as well as load them for playback. And save it. I can now go back to that saved recording and play it. And that's it. We've quickly covered FM playback on Android phones, and many, if not all, of the features you'll find in the built-in apps. So, that's all for this week. As always, feel free to leave any comments, questions I didn't answer here, any suggestions or requests for new tutorials. It's all welcome. See you next Tuesday.